Hello, welcome back to an episode of Cooking with Kev. Um, I'm sticking with the Slimming Well sort of route, which I'm going to be sticking with for a while. And what I'm doing today, I'm making the tikka masala thin friendly. Now I've had to buy stuff I didn't have in the cupboard, which is paprika I had. I didn't have the tandoori curry sauce. I bought turmeric, ground turmeric, Cumin, yeah, we all know about that one. I've uh, got loads of garlic in the cupboard, got two onions, got red pepper, sata, um, fat free yogurt, chicken breast, more than what we need, but it was on a deal. And um, so that come out the freezer yesterday, that was 406, and it's enough for two days dinner, really. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add um, some baby corn and mange trout into the curry because I'm going to eat it as like you would eat a stew instead of having um, rice I suppose. I've bought um, on the ingredients which this is might be the only things that make it not seem free. It's crushed chilli, crushed ginger, I didn't want to buy fresh because I'm not going to actually buy and use the amount that there is. These last um, 21 days, they both last 21 days in the fridge, but with all the rest of it, um, although there's an expense today, so the curry powder was about £2, maybe £2.50, these were about a pound each, and uh, now I've bought them on this first initial cooking the curry, next time I cook the curry, it'll just be by the meat, by the veg, and I'll already have the ingredients. So what I'll do now is um, I'm going to chop up the onions, chop up the pepper. The first thing I've got to do is get that in the pan and I'll simmer that down so the onions and the pepper I'll cook through and basically reduce to nothing, I think. See you in a minute. Onion and pepper inside the uh, frying pan. Um, can I have a bit of water just put in there? They don't say put in this bit of water, but I'm putting it in because... Um, I don't know, to me I need oil and fry light, it's not going to quite do it. So, if I add too much water while it's simmering down, just means the process of um, thickening it up later on may take a little bit longer. But either way, you know, we want a soft consistency, so there's no need to fry it. So water can be added until it's dissolved. Right, so I've got these new spoons now, which is a uh, level table, table spoons, tells me which is which. So I need one, teaspoon, one teaspoon of a uh, paprika, meant to be level, let's not worry about it too much. Right, the reason why I'm wearing um, Chris the Butcher's birch and the one that is personalised, Kev D, honestly, look, tell me why I'm Kev D, honest, proud of it, is that if I keep losing weight, or it ain't going to last me much longer, so I've got to get the use out of it, plus, it's a, it's a gauge of if I'm actually losing weight or not, and I hope, oh God, Hopefully you guys will see. Half a tablespoon right now. I believe that I need three tablespoons of this. If I've got it wrong, it's going to be very curry. -y. Probably three tight teaspoons, but... No, hey ho, even so. That is the base of our curry spices now. Um, explain in a second. I just mix them in and then voila there's the curry apparently now inside this mix here goes in the crushed ginger like I say I'm a, a lover of ginger and General, like this recipe is also on Slimming World, says that it's got um, 
coriander in it. I can't stand coriander. So also use your own sort of common sense. If you don't like an ingredient in a recipe, just take it out. You don't need to live by the rules all the time. So I'm going to go, I've got no idea. Um, I don't mind ginger, but I don't want it overpowering. It's very overpowering, so I'm just going to... That's it. If it's enough or not, it's tough. Then we want to go with garlic in there. So I'm guessing that this is going to reduce down and uh, be like the thickener of the base of the sauce. Obviously the peppers are going to be the flavour. Um, that do. I, I, I can't really go wrong with garlic. The only way it goes wrong with garlic is uh, if I've had too much and I'm pissing people off at work for one day. Apart from that. We also love fucking garlic in this house. Love garlic bread. Oh. No, get back on board. Right, so there we go with that. Now, um, while that's actually simmering down a little bit, I'm going to get the chicken cut. Because actually, uniquely, what I'd normally do on a curry is cook the chicken, then put the sauce in, and simmer it for a little while. This is cooking the curry in the sauce cooking the chicken in the sauce after the sauce is prepared. So anyway, see you in a bit. Reading back on the recipes, uh, I've got five minutes to cut the chicken. So right now it says uh, add 500 ml, 500 ml is about half a pint in it. Uh, half a litre, 500, yes it is, of course it is. There we go. So we've got 500 ml of water there, that's got to go in, the spices are going in, let's give that a stir up. I'm hoping to smell curry in a minute, and then we go in with the passata, and then once all that's um, blended together, which apparently takes 5 minutes, Add the chicken and simmer for 20 minutes. Job done. Always worry about cooking anything with uh, tomatoes because it has got that aftertaste, that acidity taste. So uh, it doesn't say anything about adding sweetener or anything like that. So I'm, I'm guessing that all the um, spices are kind uh, of. Come back there. Um, I'm going to leave that alone in a minute. Before I add the chicken, I'm going to taste it, and if I need to add seasoning or anything other, I'm going to do beforehand. And I see you in a bit. Right, so we've got to a point now. That's bubbling away. Got a twins of curry. Look at the fucking mountain of meat I fucking got. I think I've got to pack up for the next week. Anyway. On grumble, let's have a taste of this. I've got no idea what to expect. Very tomato. But then the yogurt, as they say in America, goes in after, which probably give it more. There's not a lot of curry flavour in it. It's more chilli. Anyway, let's add the chicken. Let's, let's go with the recipe as it's will. So it says, well, I would normally, I wouldn't boil the chicken like this. I'd normally fry it off. And another worry that I've got is because chicken nowadays, and I don't know if it's always been like it, but it loses a lot of water. So this could be an absolute car crash. As in being a tikka masala, but you know, it's got all the spice, it's got tomatoes, it's got chicken, it's going to have a bit of a yogurt in it, so it's going to be edible, but will it be a curry? Now, we've got to wait and see. See in a bit. Apparently it's quite spicy, but um, but that tikka masala is quite spicy. Um, what I forgot to sort of mention, is that while that's going on, I'm going to chuck in some uh, baby kong. I like baby kong, like 
straight from and to add um, the veg in, into it to bolt it out for dinner maybe should have chopped them in half and a man's trout and uh this is because I don't personally want to eat rice or any carbs tonight so um, this is just about maxing out I mean if we want to there are mini jackets from yesterday so that's what we'd be having if we want to get carbs tonight they were soon free too and anyway just while you're there can you see that my gut's gone down not yet i'm hopeful so anyway this is going to be my um gauge on what's actually happening because if you actually watch back to uh, my number one moment of last year I don't know, maybe you clicked on it and actually thought you were going to see me meeting Chris, but it was actually Chris sending me down this uh, hoodie, which uh, meant a lot. So that was a big moment. And I've seen me trying it on, and it went on perfect fit. But I'd love it not to fit now. I was saying that video, I'd love it to be hanging off me like legs. So uh, that's what I'm working towards. See you in a bit. As you can see, I've got a major ball here. Um, just like I suspected, the um, water when the chickens come out and it's sort of a changed the whole complexity of the sauce that I bothered making. So I've simmered it down. I don't know how long it's going to be, but um, I'm going to persist with it. And hopefully next time I can perfect it. Um, Let's wait and see. Hello and welcome back to another episode. Oh, fuck. No, come on, come down. Yes, it's actually looking like a curry now. I've had to reduce it. I don't know, it's probably been about half an hour. Um, so, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put some in the bowl. Then I'm going to mix in the uh, low, no fat yogurt which you meant to do at last minute to uh, make it take esque Can you see me? I feel dark. Anyway, I've right, done it in a bowl because so I'm going to slide it down my throat. Funny enough, I didn't know I put a sausage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my That's not the fucking curry being hot. That is that fucking scalding. But fucking tasty. Now what's that? Just let's try a bit of chicken. And this is before your yogurt goes in. Chicken lost a lot of water. Right. Right, it's a bit dry, but no, that's still good. Curry, yeah, no, I'm telling you, it's not bad. So me judging it on first, um, bef first try before I let it actually cook. Now all the spices and whatnot have blended together. That's tasty. That is a tasty meal. Now. This is where it's meant to turn the tank up. Don't want that bit there. This is where it turns the tank up. Right, so let's mix this in. It's turning to take the colour. very taken now looks actually very curry now let's give this a go well um 
I actually don't know about this. I don't mind a natural yogurt, but does it work as cream in a curry? It's not your typical take up, but I'm telling you what, being on the journey where I'm on, and I can eat as much as I, what I fucking want, happy fucking days, that is beautiful. And the stranger behind the camera, try that out and tell me what you say. And the heat is gone out of it. That's good. I'm telling you, thumbs up, thumbs up. It's a bit of faffing around, cooking, but then this is all healthy lifestyle. If I wanted the fat lifestyle to keep carrying on, it'd be ordering film and takeaway. It's being bothered. And I'm being bothered. Be bothered if you do like the channel and you've not subscribed, please do. Um, like it. Thank you very much. Over and out.